Hello friends, now we will discuss about some problems based on electrolysis. The first problem, find the charge of an electron. Now, to do this, we must know the equation which tell us about the charge of electron. If the charge of the electron is E and F is Faraday and N A is Avogadro number, then charge of one electron is F divided by N A. Now the value of F is 96500 coulomb and the value of Avogadro number is 6.022 into 10 to the power 23. So, the calculated value of electron is 1.602 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb. So, you must know the relation of charge of electron with Faraday and Avogadro number. Second problem, problem 2, find the charge of Roman 1 Cu plus 2 ion, Roman 2, PO4, 3 minus ion, Cu plus 2 and PO4 3 minus, that is cupric ion and phosphate ion. Now, charge of Cu plus 2. is equal to small n into capital F divided by Avogadro number n a. Now, what is n? n is the valency of the ion and F is Faraday and n a is Avogadro number. So, the value of charge of C plus 2 ion is 2 into 96500 divided by Avogadro number. Why the value of n is 2? Because the charge of Cu plus 2 is plus 2. Actually, the charge is just double that of electron. We know that charge of electron is F by Na. So, charge of Cu plus 2 is 2 into 96500 divided by Avogadro number and the value is 2 into 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb that is 3.2 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb. Second one is charge of phosphate ion. Charge of PO4 3 minus. The formula is same that is N F by N A. Here the value of N is 3 because charge of phosphate ion is 3 and F is 96500. 
divided by 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 and the value is 3 into 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb actually it is 4.8 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb now let us consider another problem find the amount of copper deposited at cathode when nine six five ampere current is passed for hundred seconds. We write the combination form of first and second law of Faraday to solve this. That is W equal to QE by F. Now Q is the amount of electricity which is the product of current and time. If current is C and time is T, then Q is replaced by CT. So the formula becomes W equal to C into T into E divided by F, where C is current, T is time, E is equivalent weight of the substance deposited at the electrode, F is Faraday. Now C is 965 T is 100 E that is equivalent weight of copper is 31.75 because atomic weight of copper is 63.5 and its valence is 2. So when we divide 63.5 by 2, we get 31.75. And Faraday is 96500. Now, by calculating this, we get the value equal to 31.75 gram. So, when 965 ampere current is passed for 100 seconds through a solution, amount of copper deposited is 31.75 gram that's all thank you for testing your understanding of this lesson and more videos log on to www.tubelessons.net